to bisptrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I'm going to give you an introduction to Jaithan. In my previous video I demonstrated you how to install and configure Jaithan on a local system. In this video we'll be going to talk about what exactly Jaithan is, what are the use of Jaithan, what are the pros and cons of Jaithan and we'll give our features and we'll discuss about the features of Jaithan as well as I'll give you one code example of Jaithan as well that how we are going to write a coding. So let's understand what exactly Jaithan is. So first of all Jaithan is a programming hybrid and Jaithan means it's a combination of Java plus Python or we can say that it's an 100% pure Java implementation of Python. So it's an implementation of the Python scripting language written in 100% pure Java and it can run under any compliant JVM. So the program written by using Jython, it can be run on any JVM. It would be a platform independent and it can be executed by any JVM. So if your system is using any JVM, it can that that J, Jython program, Jython code can be executed. Using Jython, we can write Python programs that interact with any Java code. The Jython interpreter supports a number of shortcuts which makes using the Java libraries as easy as using our own Python code and uh, it's a dynamic compilation to Java bytecode and it is much more easier than we will see it later. So generally speaking, Jaithan is a kind of dynamic scripting language like Python or Ruby. And furthermore, it has some syntaxes of Python like using semicolon and indentation to stand for block instead of the braces and all. So we can use semicolon for indentation. We can write the Java code within our Python program by importing the libraries directly into Python by use, with the help of Jaithan. So technically speaking, Jaithan is another kind of JVM based language like Scala or Groovy. So and essentially in a word, Jaithan is a scripting language running on JVM, which Python syntax and library supports from both Java as well as Python. Jaithan can also be combined with a scripting language or unparalleled ease of development with an operating environment for which may powerful tools have been written. It has got seamless and it's smooth integration with Java and interactive exploration and prototyping of all Java libraries. In particular, Jython excels at simplifying the use of complex Java programming libraries and APIs such as Swing Graphical Interface Toolkit or the JDBC Con Database Connectivity API. So by importing the libraries, by using the APIs, we can directly uh, build a swing, jar, swing interface, swing graphical interface, or we can, direct, we can quickly set up a connection with an ODBC or a, with a JDBC connection. Jathan can also be described as an agile language. Agile languages are generally thought of as a being capable of performing a wide variety of tasks and useful for many different type of problems easy to use and yet powerful and expressive. They are also idle rapid prototyping languages. So that's about Jaithan. Now let's talk about the features of Jaithan. So the features is it's an it has got interactive interpreter interactive interpreter in the sense we have uh, like we write here java.util import random. So you can see the random library has got been imported into our Python program or and then we can directly use that function we can directly use that random class we create an instance of this random class and we can use that object so we don't have to create the whole program we don't have to add some additional libraries we can simply import it from the java so it's coming from directly from the java and we can uh, we can implement the functionality in our python code dynamic variable creation is permitted and uh, good high level built in data structure list of strings like uh, we can set up strings 
one like we have an example here one two three and then we can simply use a print statement to print the list of strings as a zero so it will print the number uh, the uh, the value which is the index number zero and there are many more features of jython like it's a platform independent we can import the java libraries directly into uh, into python code and we can implement the functionalities of java within python uh, so for that we need to install and set up jython in our system so once we're done with that it would be easy for us to write write down or implement the java codes into python code python program so let's take an example of swing so in order to do that i'll just open command change the directory and i set the directory to jython 2.2.1 because i'm using this version and to execute or to run the jython interface i simply type a command here jython and you can see the jython interface has been uh, it's running now and now we can import the library so i simply write import java x dot swing as swing and then we can write win dot swing dot j frame dsp swing example so it should be equal here because we need to create a new instance so i created a new instance here win as swings dot j frame so this will be a uh, j frame instance swing j frame instance and it will be create a frame J java frame with the title as bisp swing example then i set the size when dot size equal to 200 comma 200 so i set the size as 200 comma 200 so you can see here i'm just running some error commands here so that you can get to know that what are the issues here so you can see the issue is the size could not be capital it should be in small because it's a case sensitive language so we should be we should be very careful while specifying the cases while specific while writing any while passing any commands while passing any functions and all we have to take care of the uh, the cases otherwise it will throw an error message like it is showing it is throwing here and finally i write win dot show and when i execute it you can see a java frame has been run because this java frame we did not add any component into it so that's why this java frame is blank right now but we can add components into it we can add buttons we can design this frame like as we can do in java frames or in j in swing by using j frame so same thing we can we can apply here because we have already imported the java library here so this should be careful uh, this is very important here this one when java x swing as swing so what we are doing we are importing the java x swing functionality into our python program into our jython code basically next we have jython pros and cons so jython pros and cons means the benefits is like uh, the it has got the dynamic typing or basically high level data structure it has got fewer lines of code so two two to ten times fewer as compared to java high productivity with very few bugs and it has got better maintainability because the code maintainability in jython is very easy and the syntax is we can execute a strong program we can write a very strong programming by using very few statements because it has got functionality of python as well and python is very uh, popular in writing the small and easier syntaxes we can make use of existing repository of jython and python codes as i've told you that it's a platform independent it the jython code can be executed on it can be run on any of jvm simple and easy to learn syntax and there is no compilation necessary like in java the compilation is necessary then we exit then we run that program then we run that command but if we are using jython so the compilation is not necessary it will directly run the program and provide give the output to the user these are the cons jython cons that it's a c based extension in python which is not available 
it has got lower performance as compared to the compiled languages there are no extensive documentation on jython so that's the cons of jython and lack of awareness among java community like we have a python community we have java community but for jython we have very few communities so there is a lack of awareness among the uh, among the developers uh, so these are the cons of jython now where jython can be used so jython can be used for build interactive experimentation for rapid application development for client programs and test drive test drivers and for automated testing for all of for uh, for all of them the jython can be used in all these functionalities in all these areas jython can be used so that's all in the jython introduction if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com if you would like to hear more from us you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on jython keep watching have a nice day goodbye